In this video guide, we're going to be going through a typical use case of creating time and expense entries in ReportAway. In particular, we'll be importing time entries from the task application as well as time and expense entries from the calendar application. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to launch the task application and in this example the user of ReportAway has created a, a proposal deck for a customer called Otterville Wireless and they have a task for doing that. They're going to be presenting that deck to the customer uh, as part of a scheduled meeting and they'll after the meeting be taking the customer out for lunch. So first of all we're going to import the entry from the task. So we go to the task application, we select the task for creating the deck, we press the menu key and go to import time entry to report away. That launches the report away time entry editor. So a nice feature of report away is that it remembers the last information that was put into it. So in this case it remembers the project customer status whether it was billable or not. Uh, in this case we're going to change billable to no. The activity is preset the task but you could set it to anything that made sense in terms of how you account for time. When importing from the task application there is no equivalent start and end time. This must be manually entered. So in this case May 29th 6 a.m. Is, is accurate for the example but we have to enter the end time so it's going to be completing at 9 a.m. on that same day. So that gives us a total time for preparing the deck of three hours. Now we'll save that entry. Alright, so next we go to the calendar and that same person who created the deck on June 1st presented it to the customer. So we have a proposal review at Otterville Wireless. Again, these are fictitious examples. We roll onto the entry, press the menu key, and say import time entry to report away. Again, the, the description as well as uh, time entries are pulled out of the calendar. So the two hour meeting has been captured uh, from the calendar entry, as well as before. The project and customer are remembered from the previous entry. It's not billable. This activity has been preset to meeting and it's a two hour duration so we'll save that. So after the proposal went so well you took the customer out for lunch. So client lunch we roll on to that and this time we're going to import that as an expense. So we go up, we import expense to report away and that launches the expense entry editor. Once again the description has been pulled out of the calendar entry all other fields are remembered from previous. Uh, the amount, if necessary, needs to be updated here. The date of expense has been taken from the calendar entry. Expense type, if necessary, you would change it here. You'd pick from the uh, drop down list as well as currency. The payee is remembered from previous entries and enter any notes that are applicable. And you save that. So, those are the three entries associated with this activity. Now if you if you wanted to report those you'd go over launch report away in this case go to the time browser and you see our two entries there on May 29th and June 1st select menu key report all we're just going to send that report and then we're going to go back to report away and uh, then go to browse the expense records and we have the client's client lunch listed there. We wish to report that by clicking the menu key, selecting report all and once again in this case we have an expense report that's ready to be sent. So we send that. And uh, just a note about the uh, reported items here. If you're watching closely on the video you will have noticed that the uh, status indicator for the entries has changed to an X following reporting. That means that that entry has been reported and would not be considered reportable in future reports. If uh, you wish you can delete reported items, take some off the list. If we go back to the time record browser 
we have those two entries that we reported. Uh, if, if there was for some reason a desire to re-report those, you could revert these reported items, even go to the so far as to go in and re-edit them, for example, if you wanted to change the task here to say sales, for example, and save that. So, you know, a lot of flexibility on uh, the ability to uh, re-report information if desired. We hope this video guide gave you a good example of how to use Report Away to generate uh, time and expense entries from the native BlackBerry calendar and task applications. Thank you for watching.